Hi, I'm Karen Owens and this is my creative project. For this presentation, I will be exploring the cultural content and process of some of my work. My artwork presented here explores the themes of power and fear in young girls through the lens of fairy tales and storytelling that utilize villainous characters and other dark subject matter. My work illustrates a good story and I want people to look at my work and see that there is a story unfolding. This first artwork is made with printmaking techniques. The first piece we will discuss is an etching, which means the ink is pushed into lines of a metal plate which, would, which was etched by acid. Etching is like a drawing, but once you make a mark on the plate, you cannot erase it. Once the plate is created, the artist can print multiple images using a press. An artist can create about 100 prints before the plate starts to break down. Here you can see Little Red Riding Hood sitting on the ground with the menacing wolf sneaking up behind her. Her red cape is surrounding her and the trees are bare and hanging over like a hand reaching out for her. The look at her face is calm and oblivious of the threat behind her, which is the wolf looking down on her. For the Little Red Riding Hood etching, I like to illustrate the threat that the world creates towards young girls and how the big bad wolf is symbolic to this idea. The Wicked Witch of the West is also created with printmaking techniques. This print is a lino cut, which means it's created like a rubber stamp and the ink lays on top of the plate made out of linoleum. So like an etching, you can create about 100 prints. Uh, sometimes you can use a press or you can print it by hand. In this piece, the witch and her shadow are waiting to spring in action and frighten anyone who may get in her way. Okay, for the Wicked Witch of the West, uh, it's the only piece that I'm actually illustrating the, the villain. Uh, my other pieces are about the strong female character who's the hero in the story or is smart and cunning. But for this piece, I'm actually illustrating the villain, which is kind of fun to do, is to draw the other side. So instead of drawing the strong female character, I, I drew or painted the image that's chasing Dorothy, and we know the ending. This is my first mixed media painting. I actually did some experimentation during the pandemic, uh, just using color and different papers. You can see I painted a whale here. Uh, the whale is underwater. With these, he is singing to an old-fashioned microphone. It looks like he's on a stage and you can see some fish in different colors of uh, paper that I painted on top of is the audience. And then in front, that kind of uh, separates him from the stage and the fish is some coral, which I used papers and then I painted on top of the, the papers. So this piece, there are many fairy tales and folklore with singing whales in them. And then in my paper I talk about uh, a story about a whale and his spirit. And the spirit takes the form of a beautiful maiden. And a raven is flying over and he sees this beautiful maiden and he wants to marry her. The, actually the raven accidentally goes in, into the side of the whale and that's where he sees the, the maiden. And he wants to marry her and the maiden says okay that's fine but I want to, you to know that I am the spirit of the whale and I cannot leave so she's very determined to explain her situation and uh, he doesn't care he takes her anyways right he ignores her and she immediately starts to die along with the whale and in this tale this folklore the the raven of course has regret and brings the beautiful maiden back to the whale and does the first tears of the world and then does a healing dance to save uh, the whale. This artwork is about a twist off of the Little Red Riding Hood that I created and I call it the dressmaker. So this dressmaker is about who made Little Red Riding Hood's cape and grandma's sleeping clothes. For this piece, I used various papers for the hat, for the dress, the forest in the back, the moon, and the house. If you can see through the window, it's a small house, which is Grandma's house from the story. 
Uh, you can see that the dressmaker is wearing an interesting hat and her clothes are colorful just uh, just to show you that she is a dressmaker. And then of course the sewing machine, the Singer sewing machine as well, shows more evidence of her character and profession. So in this painting, you can see the young girl is touching the wolf's nose as he looks lovingly up at her. So she made friends with the wolf by giving him treats, letting him sit by the fire. Uh, I often like to illustrate a strong female character and in this case this dressmaker was smart enough and resourceful enough to make friends with the wolf so she didn't have to worry about being eaten by him. So for this story, The Seven Ravens, I found a fairy tale about a young girl who was born to seven brothers and uh, she was born sickly and the father wanted to christen her and sent the brothers to get some water and they dropped the bucket in the well so they were afraid to come home. The father got angry and cursed his sons to turn into ravens and the girl grew up and she went on a quest to save her brothers. And in order to do that, she had to break off her little finger, that's what she's holding in the painting there, to unlock the crystal palace that they were stuck in. For this story, she is the hero. She saved her brothers who were cursed and turned into seven ravens and turned them back to her brothers. So the next piece, the iron stove, I continue to plan, as you can see, it's a drawing right now, but hopefully by the time I'm done with this presentation, I can start uh, deciding what areas are gonna be paint and what's gonna be uh, paper. So it's still gonna be mixed media. As you can see, there's a lady or young girl looking down at a stove and there's an eyeball looking out at you and there's a frog on top of the stove and she's holding a frog and she's standing in the woods. So this again is a Brothers Grimm uh, story and I like to continue the theme of illustrating strong female characters who are actually the, the heroes in the story. Uh, she saves, there's a prince living or cursed inside the stove. So she's going to save the prince, but first she's lost in the woods and he saves her first by telling her how to get out of the woods and then she comes back and saves the prince. And in the story, the frogs uh, help her find the prince and uh, they do have their happy ending. Okay, so to wrap things up, uh, just to talk about my paper a little bit and all the works that work together. Uh, the artworks discussed are about young girls saving themselves or others from evil in the world. Fairy tales can be magical and sometimes there's a lesson to be learned, but often young girls are painted as weak and need of saving. So I like to create artwork that uh, uses fairy tales and to show the young girl as a strong character, sometimes a hero and sometimes just a strong and cunning. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that. Okay, hope you enjoyed my creative project. Thanks. Bye.